up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujutsu Kaisen chapter 223. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me and my little sorcerer kitty here just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and pay, pal. Links are in the description box below. So, whoa, the showdown is here, and something that I didn't notice, and I should have noticed, is um, that uh, um, my boy Gojo is rocking the Toji look. I love it so much. Yes. Anyways, it also means that it's kind of given a Toji versus, um, uh, oh my god, Megumi realness, and that's kind of what I wanted, too. Oh my god. I really hope it is going to be what I want it to be in that regard. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled The Decisive Battle in the Uninhabited Demon-Infested Shinjuku Part 1. Woo, this place sure takes me back, Shibuya. Mm-hmm. What was your sense of uh, time like inside the prison realm? The one-on-one -on -one with Sukuna draws near, with Gojo on his way to Shibuya. Mm, similar to how it feels um, when work gets hella busy, the contradictory feeling when um, a week passes by in the blink of an eye, and yet you would never ever want to do it again. That's how it felt. Oh, I get what you mean. Sounds terrible. What happened to all the people um, Wait, in B5? This is the epicenter of the Shibuya incident where the cursed spirits were released. Non-sorcerers all over Tokyo were less likely to survive um, uh, the closer they were to Shibuya. Mm -hmm. However, thanks to the remnants of Gojo-san's cursed, um, cursed energy, the spirits never came near B5. Or B5. What the fuck's wrong with me? Kitty, you're distracting me. Any side effects from Unlimited Void? Eh, none. Any of them um, have been fully rehabilitated and returned to their normal lives. That's great. Well, then it's about time to get started. Udohime. Gramps. Mm-hmm. Lord Sukuna, the bow was set for today, the 24th. However, as far as the time and location goes, eh, we don't need to have that set, um, that stuff set in advance. I already know. Understood, Kukukukuku. Speak of the devil. I was the one who killed Yaga. I see. Why? Uh, why what? Why do none of you curse me for this? Eh, no particular reason. I have a pretty good understanding of who you are from the principal. You're the ultimate example of a man who, um, man just following orders. That's also why I know I can trust you to some extent. Any, anyway, the only reason the upper brass were even able to order his death was because I got myself sealed up. So I'm in no mood to be pointing fingers. Did the principal have any last words to pass on? Like about Panda, for example? Yeah, he told me uh, that cursed corpse was not some random mutant. There's a way to, re um, to replicate the process. <laughs> So old dogs can't sometimes learn new tricks. What do you mean? Well, you haven't told anybody that juicy piece of info, have you? The secret behind Panda would be ranked as special grade information. Yes, it would. For the old you, it would have been unthinkable to not report it to the higher-ups. You've changed, Gramps. Dude, if the higher-ups knew that shit, ooh, that'd be dangerous. They'd create an army with that. Maybe if you were at the head of HQ, things would be a bit better. Mm-hmm. <gasps> They're all dead! That's, ooh, why did you choose to bring me? Mm, if it's just a place, um, place a barrier, there are many more proficient candidates. You seriously don't know? You're the man I trust the most. That's the only reason I need. Aww. I'm just a guy who ran away. No, I didn't even have the courage to do that myself. Somebody else allowed me to run. Even the, um, even then, the strongest man in the world tells me that he trusts me. There's no way I could let him down. I will tr oh my god! I will answer his trust, even if it kills me. Udahime's curse technique, solo solo pro um, prohibition zone. Any sorcerers of her choosing, including Udahime herself, will have their cursed energy reversed and output temporarily enhanced as long as they remain in range. Damn, Udahime! 
The mastery of jujitsu can be said to be the mastery of subtraction. The skill of a, of a sorcerer can be judged based on their ability to emit prerequisites like hand signs or incantations in order to fully activate their technique. However, in this circumstance, Udahime emitted nothing. Incantations, hand signs, dances, instruments. By using a ritual to channel her curse technique, she was able to achieve 120% of its normal effect. Nine points. Um, the strongest sorcerer in history versus the strongest sorcerer of today. Which of these two men will approach the fight as the challenger? It will all be decided by the first decisive strike. Dude, this is going to be so interesting. Because as I said earlier, this is going to be very similar to what we saw in the Shibuya arc. Um, because, But in reverse, technically. Because you had, remember the Shibuya arc? We had a possessed Toji versus Megumi. And now we got a possessed um, Megumi. I said Megumi. Possessed Megumi versus Gojo, who is um, giving um, Toji teas. Yes! Because he made a contract with Toji. So, yes! I am somewhat getting what I want. I am! Because that is kind of what I wanted. But God damn it! I want, I still really want what we saw in um, the Natsu no Tazai in the fight against uh, the Demon King, where they, um, where you had to beat the Demon King on the outside and on the inside at the same time. You know, where, um, in this case, it'd be Toji having to save um, Megumi uh, from sucking his clutches, you know, inner sucking his clutches, and, you know, rise, you know, have him um, get out of the death of uh, despair kind of shit, and then have Gojo uh, whoop sucking his ass in the outside world. You know what I mean? Or in the real world? That's what I want. I want that shit. If I get that, I'll be stoked. But if I don't, it is what it is. But here it makes sense to me. Nine points. Polarized light. Crow and Shimoya chant. Um, wait. Crow and uh, Shomyo chant. Oh, I say chant instead of chant. Kitty! Cuteness has distracted me. Um, Crow and uh, Shamyo chant. The gap uh, between within and without. Like Udahime, Gojo does not skip even a single step in bringing out his technique. 200% output! What? Yes! How oh, is it deep purple? Let's go! Oh, oh! Ooh, the first strike. Let's fucking go. Thanks to um, Ijichi's barrier, Sukuna misread Gojo's opening move. Although he was aware of Gojo's presence, he was not able to sense the immense amount of cursed energy that was output until the um, uh, the attack was right in front of him. Yeah, the strongest sorcerer versus the strongest sorcerer. Wait, sorry, the strongest sorcerer in history versus the strongest sorcerer of today. Seems you got the wrong idea here. So let me just set things straight. You're the challenger here. <laughs> you damn brat! The strongest trickster lands a preemptive strike! Yeah, That's my boy! Gojo! Yes! But god damn it! I can't help but think of the Shibuya fight, though! Um, between Toji and, um, and Megumi here! This feels right! It does! Yes! I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this. This is epic. Oh my god. Kojo got the jump on it. I love them. Yes. I love this though. I want to read this shit again. Hold on. Seems like you've got the wrong idea here. So let me just set things straight. You're the challenger here. Yeah. <laughs> Gojo is such a fucking troll. I live. Dude, the way he set shit up so he could get the jump on fucking uh, Sakura was epic as hell. Dude, do you know how he used Udahime like that? Yeah. Gojo doesn't fuck around. You damn proud is right. Strongest tr trickster man, yeah! You don't fuck around with my boy like this! No! No! Oh, God! Oh, dude. 
Oh god, I can't help but think of freaking Toji as well. To Dude, I can't wait for this show or this shit. Oh my god. Seriously though, as I said, I told you guys what I want in this fight. I do. But goddamn. The other thing I want you guys to remember as well is near the end of the fight, remember what happened when Toji snapped out of it. Because remember, he was a puppet of carnage. And you can make the argument that that's what Megumi is right here. He is being used as a puppet of carnage. In a way, a stronger puppet of carnage. But I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to this. Oh my god, I'm so hyped. This is going to be probably one of the best fights in 2023. I can roll. Dude, I don't know. Oh god. I don't know, the only thing I don't know though, because that's saying a lot, I, this is why I'm saying one of the best fights, I can't say it's the best fight of 2023, because you're competing with Tesla and, uh, um, uh, oh my god, and Beelzebub's fight, which was fucking fire, that shit was fire, oh that whole fight from start to finish was amazing, but this will definitely be at least in probably my top five at least, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see where this goes. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kick the game so we can keep bringing you more Jujutsu Kaisen content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.